Beard? Mine? What the f Strong. Quick grocery store pickup, guys. Check it out. Super random. Dye Mountain Dew. Double fiber, 50 calorie per slice bread. Italian salad for uh, some micros. 30 calorie almond milk for, sh milk for shakes. Monster. Two for something. They're like buy one, get one half off blueberries. And then these low calorie pizzas. Flexible dieting style. And then uh, pasteurized egg whites. And I'm not sure if you guys have been watching Jason Vlaha's videos. I suggest you do for diet and uh, trading advice. But he's vegan. And uh, I think I'm going to take some of his advice and really limit my meat intake. So probably just have meat not even every day. Um, aside from egg whites, just get my 180-ish grams of protein from grains, egg whites, some protein powder, beans, fruits and vegetables, whatever. But I'm going to figure it out and try to limit my... Uh, meat intake to zero to one servings a day, so we'll see. But that's it guys, peace. Guys, what you just saw is me going to Snap City. Um, when I let that fall back, it definitely hurt my tricep area, my elbow insertion, whatever you want to call it. But uh, definitely don't recommend hitting three PRs on a pressing movement in about two weeks. So basically, it was ego lifting really bad. And I know we all are guilty of that sometimes, but this is pretty, pretty crappy in my opinion. And I definitely deserve to have not hit that. So I'm glad I'm not injured. Seriously, I'm going to punish myself by not letting myself lift on Saturday. I was going to go do a pump style workout like I normally do. But given that I just, I honestly don't think I injured it at all. It's just a little inflamed. But I'm not going to let myself lift this weekend because I screwed up and I just wanted to leave that in this clip or in this video so you guys know what not to do. If you hit a PR and a pressing movement, you know, one week, then even the next week after, don't go for it. My workout today called for hitting um, a floor press max and I smoked 275, which is my old one, so I should have just gone to like 285 and gotten it clean. So I set my floor press as 285, even though I think I could have more in the tank. It doesn't matter. I know I could get 285, so I'm just going to leave it at that. But uh, then after um, failing that, it called for two sets of 15 with 60%. So like I said, I used 285. And those went smooth. And uh, the second set, which I left left in there completely for you guys to watch, I'm gonna was paused. And I'm going to start doing pause floor press because my sticking point is definitely the elbow lockout. So I'm going to work on the floor pressing by pausing, and that's it. So after that, it was lat pull down, pretty simple, three sets of 12. Um, the last one was kind of a grinder, but uh, I felt really good on it, so I just went hard on it. And then band press downs, 100 reps. I brought my band with me, and um, yeah, I hit 100 reps. I moved the camera around a little bit so you guys can see, but uh, nothing special. It took, you know, minute breaks in between, minute and a half. Just got them done in about four or five sets. After that was shrugs, dumbbell shrugs. I don't know if you guys saw at the beginning of the uh, clip, but when I first did this, the first round I'd used hundreds. So I didn't get them in the shot, but I used 110s with no straps every time. I wore the straps for the first two sets on my wrists in case I couldn't handle it, but it was no problem. Uh, with chalk and the thicker dumbbells they have there, like old school iron ones, it was no problem. I got 110 for 15, three sets. <laughs> Uh. 
Next was Military Press. I got an Easy 8 with 50, then a Grinder 7 with 70, but I really wanted to challenge myself and give it a shot with 70s. Again, my elbow is a little sore from ego lifting and failing that 300, but nothing out of the ordinary. It's like a 1 out of 10. So I think with skipping this weekend's workout, by next Wednesday I'll be perfectly fine. But uh, yeah, I don't even want to chance it, and I don't deserve to lift this weekend. <laughs> For athlete's choice, I didn't want to isolate uh, the biceps for too much because they feel like they've been hit recently. So I just went back to the barbell curl for a marathon set, which I got uh, 50 reps, I think, with 55 pounds. But I did three sets of the seated row. I went kind of heavy on the third set but forgot to film it, so that was a fail. But uh, this is the second one. And as I finish up these bicep curls, you're going to see me do uh, for core this week. I'm really sore in the abs from those toes of the bar, so I just did what uh, my physical therapist told me to, to do, which I saw, whom I saw today. So right here, it's they're called like dead bugs or something. Basically, you flex your core really hard so you can get your lower spine on the ground and not let it arch. So that was that. But again, I want to reiterate, guys, don't ego lift. I know hitting PRs is what we all want. It's definitely what I wanted, but after hitting 285 on the bench and then 300 in the past couple weeks, there was no reason for me to go for 300 on the floor press. That was so stupid. I regret it, but I live to lift another day, so let my failure and my mistake be a learning lesson for you guys. So guys, 16s. 16.5 pumped? You tell me. Not gonna film all this guys, we get you stretching in. Do it up. Post workout meal of peace. HNG.